People! People! It's me! Hello! Good morning! Ah! Or evening, good evening, morning, afternoon, whatever it is for you. It, you could be watching this at any time of the day. I'm here to tell you, there's a Discord server for the Dunlux community. Now, if you want to be a part of this community of more, more ex further extent, come join us. I check it out every day. I like to chat with people who are on it, which is practically no one right now. So if you're one of the first-ish people to join, thank you. Now let's get to the video. Welcome back to the intro hole. In this part, we will have a new member joining us who is Adam. In this video, we will be preparing for the next big steps to take while playing on this Minecraft realm. And now we begin. Adam had just joined the server, so he had nothing. So I decided I was going to make him armor, so I gave it to him. All right, Adam, get over here. Adam. Can I get stuff? Adam. Adam, there's food. I have food that you can come snag. Ah. Oh, that's a lot. And as I was going back to make more materials for Adam, such as a shield and other materials like pickaxe swords, etc., he decided to give me his armor pants in trade for those materials. Couldn't I trade in these for a bucket and a shield? Not sure why he did that, but he did. That don't you don't you worry. I gave him his pants back. I'm not I'm not taking another man's pants. There's your bucket. Oh. Making your shield. Oop. Maybe. And here is your shield. Oh. Yay. You can take the pants back. I was making enough. You're too kind. After Adam left once more, I realized he didn't take his pants back. And I still had his pants, so I had to convince him even more to take his pants back. Yeah. Wait, you, okay. Take your pants back. Get back here. Take your pants. Okay. Alright, where are we going, Wayne? Follow me. After getting Adam all geared up, Wayne had discovered an area that he wanted to show us. I haven't explored this yet, but I wanted to. There's a, oh, but there's something down here, huh? I went mining for... A, I needed a lot of stone. Uh-huh. So I started a uh, strip mine slash stone. Okay. Mine. And then you found this thing. Or mm -hmm. whatever's about to come. Oh, that's a lot of water. After getting down into the depths of the cave, it became very apparent that this cave was going to be dangerous. There were a lot of mobs. And when I say a lot, I mean there was a whole horde. Find a house. Gosh dang. Behind you, Luke. All right, I think I think we're all right for now. Cover me. After venturing into the cave, Adam had finally joined us. And as he joined us, he instantly almost got blown up by two creepers. Oh, where is a creeper? Whoa, there's another one. <laughs> I didn't take damage, but it's scary. Now, as we were exploring this cave, it became apparent that I went deep, so that probably meant there would be valuables. And I was correct. Oh, there's diamonds down there. Yes, I found diamonds. But the thing is, I didn't find the diamonds. Not first, that is. Literally two seconds earlier. <laughs> diamonds. So I feel kind of bad. Because I just repeated something that he had already said. In diamonds. Yeah, I see that. Dude, I don't know how you guys just find diamonds so fast. Yeah, they're blue. They're just there. They're very visible. Now, me being the absolute pro at Minecraft I am. Yes, that was very sarcastic. I saw a structure in the cave. And I questioned its valuability. I don't know if that's a word, but it is now. This seems useful over here. Do we need crystals for anything? Uh, come on, telescopes, which we do. Oh, yeah, we do. They're useless, but we need them. Now, I still don't actually know if it's valuable, but we got crystals now. While mining this new material that I have found, which I didn't really know what it was. This is probably my first time seeing it in game. Wayne had a little oopsie. There's Eesh. more. I died. What? What? After Wayne was able to make it back to the cave, he jumped into the same hole I was in for whatever reason, and then realized he had no blocks to get out. Give me some dirt or something. I need to get up there. Oh, that's your stuff. Here. I got you here. <laughs> Pretend <it's laughs> Did you just try MLG and fail? <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't already a part that showed how much we are skilled at this game, this definitely shows how skilled we are at this game. Now, after the marvelous water bucket clutch we had just watched, we finally figured out how to build our way out of there. 
Now we got our fiends. Oops. Oops. There's your stuff, Wayne. Ah! Zombie! Ah! Two of them! Ah! Run! Oh, that... Okay, forward is backwards, and backwards is forward. Let's get back. Oh boy. Just gotta survive the night. Now that I have made it to safety, we can continue with the story. Adam decided he could take on some mobs. Okay. You guys really didn't move far, did Oh! Hey, Adam, you... No, no, no. He pulled the Dylan. <laughs> Adam pulled the Dylan. While we were exploring this cave, Dylan joined us, so now there were four people on the server. That was the most people we have ever had at the server at once. What are the odds we can sleep? Um, if you get here, maybe. I think I missed one thing. Oh, this is a weird looking cave. Dylan, do you have all your stuff with you? Oh, Dylan can't hear us, can he? Now, while we were exploring this cave, I found a area that dropped down. It went dark. And while I was exploring this area, I very much regretted it because this area was swarming with mobs and I was just being chased by a horde. Where did everyone go? I went down into depths of a cave and I regret it. After having completed what we went down there originally to do, which was to resupply on iron and ores, we decided it was best to get out of the cave. I don't know where I entered. Ooh. Are we trying to get out of the Ooh. cave now? Is that yeah. what's going on? Well, I'm just trying to get out of wherever I am. So we're trying to get back. That's what I'm getting from all this conversation. I'm gonna go now. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye, Adam. And before we had the chance to get out of the cave, Adam had to leave. Which was a very sad moment because we had just gotten four people. And then we were back down to three. Okay. Wayne, are you exploding over there? I got hit by a, a creeper, just barely. Now, we were all lost and we were all searching for the entrance of the cave. And Wayne had a very wonderful insight. Oh. Uh, it's probably up. After that lovely insight that the entrance of the cave was up, I mean, I feel like a gosh dang idiot. I was searching for the entrance down below. If you can't tell, I'm being sarcastic. Yeah, look, I think I got it. The sun. I'm free. Did Dylan find it? I found outside. I found the entrance. I found, I'm up I'm and I'm out. Oh, you're right. It is under the water, huh? Dude, it's like a secret entrance. Now, after getting out of the cave, I decided it would be good to finally get started on that nether portal and get to work. I carved out the intro hole, making the intro hole a little more special by adding a nether portal to it. I feel like it would give the aesthetic, and plus, I have big plans for the intro hole. I'm going to make it look great. But for now, it still looks kind of wonky. But that's okay. Enchantment table. Oh crap, I need my book. I have a book, right? Where's my book? Where's my book? I have a book. Boom. Where'd my book go? There it is. Boom, enchantment table. I'm just going to put it right here for now. Now, after creating the nether portal and other things, I decided to move on. I decided I can't build the nether portal or go into the nether without having a proper house yet. No, I stole a villager's walls, and that was my house. And Wayne told me that I need to come up with a very good house idea. So naturally, I got my thinking power, I thought real hard, I pondered for days. Yeah, I couldn't think of anything, so I just went to the internet. And after just scouring the internet for homes that looked possibly buildable by me, a good decent house that was buildable at the time, I finally settled on this house. Now this thing looks cozy and cute, you know? So I settled to build that. But there was just one problem with that house. The wood. I had the oak wood, but I had no other wood than just oak. I mean, we had birch, but it's a dark design. Birch is lighter than oak. So I had to go on an adventure. One last adventure before I build my house. I had to go find a dark colored wood. I originally went to search for dark oak, but it didn't work out that way. So I looked and looked and looked until I finally found spruce. Oh, there's something I can use. That's I found something that's not a dark oak, but it's a darker wood. So I'll just use that instead. Let me guess. Is it spruce? It's probably spruce. It's like a pine tree. Yeah, it's probably spruce. 
Which, in all honesty, I forgot that spruce existed. I thought that dark oak was the only dark wood in the game. While on my adventure, I was told by Dylan that if I found an arcade tree, that he would trade me a diamond for that sapling. So I took him up on the deal. Capitalism. All right, where are you, Dylan? We gotta perform some capital capitalism. Whatever. Capitalism. Is that a diamond? Sapling. I threw it at you. Thank you. So th this is where my hole begins. Goodbye. That is where we are going to be ending our video for today. The next episode will contain me building my house. There will be one more member joining us. The real gun shark, aka Gunner. And we can't wait to see a more Adam too. It was unfortunate that Adam did not make it through the whole video. If you wish, subscribe if you want to see more. I can't wait to see you guys again. Goodbye.